The next thing we're going to talk about is sweeps. So sweep is good for things that you want to follow a path of some sort. Um, so like pipes um, or like on that piece here, you know, you have a contour that you want to follow that, that path. So that would be a sweep. Um, so now sweeps and lots that we'll talk about next are things that you have to have more than two sketches for. So up until now, one sketch at a time, if you don't use it, delete it, right? Now it's, it's possible to have more than one sketch. Or if you're using a sketch to make, to find a point for reference plane, you can have to keep that one. Um, so now we're kind of getting into some more advanced things where you have multiple sketches, maybe it's got something you just turn off, but label them so you know what they are. <clears throat> so, so we're going to do a pipe. So I'm just going to sketch. I'm not going to go here because I don't want to try and take me right into extrude. I'll just go to sketch. Or I could just click on the plane, right, and go to sketch. So I'm just going to draw and draw out my path. So here's where I might want to put arcs in the sketches. And this sketch might have a, little, a few more things than the six. Because this is a path for it to follow. Um, But do I still want to constrain it? Nice. Yep. But so it's going to take a little bit more work to to get it constrained. Right, horizontal, vertical mix for that, say for that, and radiuses. But I could say those two that are going to be equal. circle so those points will be horizontal from each other. I want that to be one and that's good. So we've got one blue point here. What's that point for? It doesn't know how far around to make that one go. So here is where I might need to, to do a couple lines. So if I wanted to make it vertical from that one, I could. But if I wanted to be over here somewhere, I draw a line from there to there, back to there, make those construction. Now I can put a dimension in there. Something like that. Now it's fully constrained. And then I'm just going to get out of it and leave it there. So now I want to make another sketch that's perpendicular to that line on one of the endpoints. So here, since I started the origin, I can get a, a plane there, right? I can just come over and get that plane, that right plane. It's perpendicular, it's on that same thing. What if I wanted to start over here? What would I do? Yeah, just go in, make a plane, pick on that, that line, and then pick on the point. So it knows that first line is going to be perpendicular to that sketch. The second one is going to be on that point. So I can do that, accept it. And I can draw here and go backwards. So kind of you can start from either way. It depends on what's on the other side. Um, if you already had some stuff here that you wanted to start from and continue, then you'd have to do that. Do that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go back to sketch. So 
Now I just go in and call it sweep. So first it asks me my profile, the little green circle on the profile. The second one is the path. The so first one, give me that. Second one, give me that. This is one where sometimes it's easy to just go to the browser and pick them. Especially if you've got a complex model, you've got stuff all over the place. Sometimes it's easier just to go into here, especially for the profile. Maybe that's going to, on another plane thing. Sometimes it's easier just to pick it off the browser list. So I go to options, about to follow path. But I tell them to keep the normal constant. On this one, it's not going to let me. So what that's wanting is to keep this circle facing the same direction. So on this one, it can't keep that same orientation all the way through, right? Because here and here would be zero thickness. But if this, if my path just kind of did something like that, I could do that. And it just kind of move it side to side as it followed the path. Follow the path, it's going to actually follow it. Twist, oh, we don't have anything to show this. If we have some guide curves, we could set that up also. Usually, just follow the path. Guide curve is something that's going to help affect how it's going. Um, you can tell it how to be tangent. Um, and kind of when you get into some of the advanced, when you start doing sweeps that are more advanced, you might go into some of those. Um, and then doing pipe, might as well tell it to be thin, right? to go inside or outside. And say OK. And there's your piece. So that could be a real long piece, a real short piece. <clears throat> Here, what are we constrained to? Constrained to being a, f a flat plane, right? <clears throat> so, if I want to go over here and I want to make this pipe curve up now, just go here, sketch. In, constrain it. Back. <coughs> Profile. Just gonna... So I'm going to pick on that face. Sketch. Convert those entities. So you can just convert the entities and then continue it on. So if you wanted something to move in a 3D direction, so you wanted to go up, back, and to the side all at once, you'd want to probably you'd do a 3D sketch to do that, and we'll get into that in the next session. Because that has a whole other set of things. But most pipe runs, they're going to be like this. You're going to fit it one way, fit another. Maybe make a point at an angle, sketch on that angle, something like that. So that's that one. Any questions on that? <coughs> so let's say on this one, we want to do the cut kind of like on that. We do the same kind of thing. Let's pick here. 
like that to strain it. How long does that need to be? It needs to be more than that, right? Now we can do this. We cut profile half. It was, it was the, the length of this and the, the radius there was too much, it was going to cut hit itself. So I, could, I changed that, or I could have left that, brought this in. And if I had strained it, what would I have done? Not just drag it, I would have just double clicked on it and changed, changed the number. I don't have an assignment.